Hey guys, it's Faith. Welcome back to my channel. We are talking all about my favorite products for the month of March. Y'all, March was a great month for me for like beauty and skincare and life in general. I just got back from a last minute trip to Taiwan, which is absolutely incredible. Incredible. It was such an amazing experience and this past month has just been filled with new amazing adventures for me. Today we're going to be talking about a lot of beauty products. I have a ton of products here. So grab a coffee and a snack or some wine, sit back and relax because this is going to be a long video. But y'all, I have some sick new products to talk about um, and also some oldies, but definitely goodies as well well. Um, and yeah, before I get started and jump on in, if you like me, if you like this kind of video, please give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps me decide what videos on my channel y'all like and what you don't so I can tailor my content towards you. Um, additionally, if you haven't subscribed already, I would love to have you as part of the family. So just click that big red button down below, subscribe and ring that bell so you're notified of all of the times that I post, which are every week, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Let's just jump on in guys. Let's go into my favorites. <laughs> All right, so let's start off with makeup, and I want to start off with highlighter because it's that time of year, it's spring, we all want to glow, but let's glow in a more classy way, right? So I want to talk about the Laura Mercier uh, highlighter in 01. It is, okay, the packaging, it's kind of bulky, I will say, but the product itself is absolutely stunning. This used to be a dome, but now it's completely flat. I use this all of the time. This is perfect for a very subtle glow. You can wear this transitioning from day to night with ease. If you are a working woman, a working man, whomever, um, you can wear this in the workplace. It's not going to be offensive whatsoever. It's also not going to emphasize any texture, fine lines, pores, or anything of that nature. Oftentimes with those very beaming, glowy highlights, it emphasizes things that we just don't want emphasized. This does not do any of that. It is just a perfect sheen on the face. You kind of look like, you know, it's it looks like skin when you're wearing this in a very subtle, highlighty way, if that makes sense. I adore it. Again, I'm wearing it today. It's just like the perfect everyday highlight. And you know, if you're going out later, if you're going out on the town, if you're going out on a date in the evening, just bring another highlight and layer it on top if you want that extra glow. But for the day to day, my favorite highlight of all time is this one by Laura Mercier. The second product that I want to talk to you guys about today is a newer find to me, and I have no idea why it's taken me so dang long to get on board. It is the Physician's Formula Butter Blush. First of all, y'all probably already know it smells. It smells like a tropical dream. It smells like paradise in a little compact. Um, this blush is just like the most gorgeous wash of color. I have it on my cheeks today, not a lot. It looks like you're just a little flushed. It doesn't look like you're actually wearing makeup. It applies beautifully, there's no skipping with this, and you really can't overdo it. I got the shade Plum Rose, and it is a very nice neutral, again, plummy, but very basic blush. Is it just me or is like the most basic blushes always your favorite? This is so good for the day to day and just like boosts you in the most luminous, perfect way possible, if that makes any sense. So I've been absolutely loving this butter blush by Physicians Formula. The next few products are lip products. The first few, I guess, are these Numi lip oils. I don't know what has taken me so long to try a lip oil. This was the first brand of lip oil that I have tried. It is by Numi. Um, this one specifically, the yellow one, it's a clear, you know, oil when you put it onto the lips is my favorite of the three. It is just absolutely nourishing. I love putting it on in the mornings before I go in with my makeup. So I'll exfoliate my lips and then I'll put on this lip oil to kind of hydrate and rejuvenate them because I do suffer from very, very dry lips all year round. And then after that, I'll go in with my makeup and my skincare, etc. And then when I top it off, you know, with my lip product of the day, my lips are very hydrated and ready um, for the lip application, whether it be like a liquid lip or a lipstick, etc. So this has been a lifesaver for me. It feels so good. It's not greasy. It does not go off of the lip line, which is always like a concern for me when it comes to lip things, especially in oil. And it's so lightweight. 
This one is absolutely fabulous. I have these as well. The red one actually stains your lips to be like a quite beautiful pinkish shade. I really do enjoy this, but it's not for the day to day for me. And then this one I do love as well. It has a mint scent or a mint flavor, um, but of the three, just for versatility reasons, this one is my all time favorite. I have been using it to death, you guys. It is so, so good. And then the next product is also a lip product, and this is new to me. It's the Two Tone Lip Bar by Laneige. The, these are everywhere in Korea, and I was kind of apprehensive to use them because if you can see, it's like two-toned, you know, like there's blue and there's pink, and I tried a bunch of them, so they have like a formulation that's more sheer, which is this formulation, and then they also have another formulation where it's more pigmented. I liked this because it was more glossy and more chapstick-esque when you applied it to the lips, so I thought it would be perfect for spring. I'm actually wearing it today. I mix the colors. I don't really enjoy like the feathering effect, so the idea behind this is that you put the red in the middle and apply it this way, and then you turn it over, and then you apply the red in the middle again on the top, and it feathers out into almost nothing. It's not for me, that kind of application, but I really, really enjoy this formula. And believe it or not, like you would think because it's like a balm texture, you would think that it would wear off, but it doesn't. This stuff will last for like four hours, eating and drinking included. So I'm very, very impressed with the Laneige Two-Tone Lip Bar. If y'all are interested, let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to do a full product review of this because I think it is worthy of a review for sure. It's so, so good. Um, the next product that I want to talk about is a brow product. I got here to Korea and I had my Anastasia brow definer. I've used the brow wiz in the past and the brow definer as well. And I had a ton left. I was like, okay, I am ready. This is going to last me at least six months. I don't have to worry about it. I can wait until the VIB sale. It broke. Okay, every single ABH um, brow pencil that I've used has snapped in half. And I think that's a little ridiculous because they're $21. That's a lot of money. Yes, the application is wonderful. Yes, they're, you know, famous for their brows for a reason because literally like incredible product once it's applied, but I'm sorry if it's breaking every single time I, you know, buy a new one after like a month of use, that's unacceptable to me. So I was on the hunt and a wonderful, wonderful Instagram friend of mine, I will leave her linked in the comment section down below. Emily, she recommended this NYX brow pencil to me. You guys, this brow pencil is way better. I'm just going to put it out there. It is so much better than the Anastasia brow is. Um, I'm obsessed. The, the tip itself is so, so fine. It's like a retractable just like the brow is. It's essentially a dupe for it, but it's like $8 instead of $21. The color that I got is ash brown. I think it's a perfect color for my brows. It's so easy to use. It fills them in beautifully. It is quick. It is simple. And the spoolie is excellent as well. So you guys, if you have trouble with Anastasia products or if you're just sick of your brow pencils breaking, on you, give NYX a try and let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'm absolutely obsessed with this product. Thank you, Emily. <laughs> um, the next product I want to talk about is my Innisfree No Sebum Blur Primer. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. I just posted my This or That versus the Innisfree Primer versus my Benefit Professional. My Benefit Professional has been an all time favorite of mine for a pore filling primer, and this has beat it out. If you're interested in knowing why, I'll leave it in the cards above. Please check out that video, guys. But just know that this product is exceptional at the fraction of the price and I'm obsessed. I am actually obsessed. <laughs> Alright, so let's move on to the face. Uh, the next product I want to talk about is this concealer. It's the Maybelline Age Rewind. I don't know what took me so long to try this concealer. It has been a cult classic for years. So many people here on YouTube love it. I know that Tati loves it. I know that so many people in my personal life love it and I've never tried it. I have been on the Shape Tape kick forever. Um, I have not steered away from it. It has been such an amazing concealer for me that I was like, why should I try anything else? I wanted to try this because the Shape Tape was getting a bit 
thick and heavy for me moving into the summer months I was interested in uh, buying a product or utilizing a product that was lighter weight and easier to blend out um, this checks off all of those boxes this is not only lightweight it blends beautifully I love not only using it for under the eyes but also on the eye space is a eye primer it works very well for that it does not crease it does not cake this is an exceptional product and no joke Ever since I have purchased this about two and a half weeks ago now, I've used it every day and I don't even know where my shave tape is to be honest with you. So I'm absolutely obsessed with this concealer. What I've been doing to pair with that concealer have been using these two foundations. These have been my favorites of the month for sure. Both of them are in my top five favorite foundations video. I'll link that in the cards above if you haven't seen it already. Um, I think they're both very underrated. The first one is this BB cream. I call it a foundation because honestly, the coverage is exceptional. It blends out beautifully. Oh my gosh, I have so many videos here on YouTube with this product in it because it is it is amazing. The SPF in this is 30, which is great. It's gonna protect the skin. It has so many benefits for the skin. You're getting ample coverage. It does not move or budge or smudge. It's so, so easy to put on. If I am in a pinch, if I'm running late, I will literally, with clean hands of course, just take a pea-sized amount, rub it in my hands and pat it into my skin and I run out the door and it's good to go. So I love this for the day to day. It is so, so wonderful. If you guys haven't checked out the Disappore by Dr. Jart, please do yourself a favor and give it a try. I also love using this on its own, but I also love mixing it with other foundations. Um, the other one I've been using consistently this is like my fifth or sixth bottle. I am not kidding. If this were ever to be discontinued, this is the Tarte uh, Rainforest of the Sea Foundation. I would buy all of them. That is my nightmare. If this is discontinued, that would be my nightmare. It is so incredible. It is so lightweight. Again, mixing these two is an absolute dream. It looks like skin. This is not cakey. You can layer it upon itself beautifully. You are not going to be getting like a full, full face with this, but I can get a very nice um, medium buildable coverage with this. And if you add other foundations in it, it's just a work of art, honestly. It is a water-based foundation. Be aware of that when you use like silicas or silicone primers, they may not play well. Um, but this this overall is just again an everyday gorgeous foundation the only thing I don't like about this is it is a twist off like this dropper is not the best in terms of application I wish that it was a pump that's my only gripe but I am obsessed with this Tarte foundation for sure Okay guys, so let's move into skincare. The first skincare product I wanna talk about is this Innisfree SPF. Specifically, it is the Perfect UV Protection Cream SPF 50 PA Triple Plus. Y'all, this is the best sunscreen I've ever put on my face period, end of story. I'm gonna do a full review on this product. I think every single person should own this product specifically. I'll get into it later. But all you need to know is that normally with sunscreens, you've gotta apply them, wait 30 minutes, and then apply your makeup, right? It's a long, tedious process. Nobody has any time for that. This doubles as a primer. You can literally put this on your face and then right afterwards apply makeup. It applies like a primer. It is the best face sunscreen I have ever used in my entire life. I'll do a video, stay tuned. The best. The next product that has been my favorite has been these Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peels. This is the gentle formulation. There's also a more advanced formulation. Y'all, Dennis Gross is definitely one of the most underrated, underhyped skincare lines on the market in my very humble opinion. I was uh, introduced to these by this incredible angelic woman working at Sephora a few years ago. I walked in there going to get some makeup for my wedding day makeup, and she and I were getting into this conversation about my skin type. And as you all know, I have acne prone skin, I have hyperpigmentation, my skin has always been my greatest struggle, my biggest concern, and I want my, you know, you want your skin to look perfect on your wedding day, or as perfect as possible. So I was explaining all of this to her, and she was like, like, you need these. 
I was like, okay, I'll trust you anything for good skin on your wedding day. So I tried them. I used them every night for two weeks prior to my wedding day, and I am not kidding. That was the best skin day I think of my entire life. I'm not kidding. These are so expensive. They're $90 for 30. I do not suggest you use them every single day. That was an extreme situation because obviously wedding. Um, but I like to use these once a week as an exfoliant. They have AHAs and BHAs, so they're very, very good for my skin type. I can get into that in a later video as well. But basically, you have two pads. You use the first one and you just massage it into the skin until all of the product is gone, until the wipe is completely dry. You wait a few minutes and then you do the same with the second pad. And I'm not kidding, you wake up with the most exfoliated, glorious looking skin on planet Earth. These are the best, you should try them. Take my word for it, okay? Amazing and so underrated. The next product is not underrated. It's talked about a lot, it's the C Firma, um, Serum by Drunk Elephant, this vitamin C serum. You guys have heard me talk about before. It is my all-time favorite vitamin C serum. The packaging is exquisite. There is no light that goes into this bottle, so vitamin C is very volatile. Um, it turns very quickly when it's exposed to sun. So because this packaging is just like airtight, it's going to keep the product on the shelf for longer so that you can actually get your use out of it. I have many videos about this. This is just absolutely incredible. I notice when I don't use this on a daily basis that my skin looks more dull and just not as alive. And when I do use this, my skin looks like I was just kissed by the sun for a week. So if you're looking for a you know vitamin C product, look no further than the Drunk Elephant. Next up is this Blythe Water Pack, the padding water pack in the green tea. I'm gonna do a video on this one too, you guys. Oh my goodness. This product is an absolute game changer. It's basically like an exfoliant, and sheet mask in one. What you do is you only use a little bit of this, you actually splash it onto your face in the shower with water, with the water that's like coming down in the shower. I'm not kidding, it's so, so concentrated, you feel like nothing's even happening, you feel like you're wasting your money and it's going down the drain. After I use the splash mask in the shower, it feels like I just had a sheet mask on my face for about 30 minutes. I will get to it later, but just know that this product is life-changing. Absolutely life-changing. As is my Cosrx Snail Mucin Power Essence 96. <laughs> I have a full review of this. I will link it in the cards above if you're interested. This is my all-time favorite skin product I've ever used. I've been using this consistently. It is like It looks like it's barely been, been touched. I use a pump of this at night, and it is just so plumping, hydrating, and just makes the skin look like skin, like glowing beautiful skin the next morning when you wake up. So I cannot recommend this enough. Any skin, skin type can use this. It's perfection in a bottle. The next product is a product I have talked about before. I just uh, got back from Taiwan last night, late last night. I only brought a backpack with me. So when it came to skincare for traveling, I wanted to bring products that are multi-purpose and multi-function. I didn't bring many, but one of the ones that I did bring and I'm so happy happy I did is this Sun and Park Beauty Water in the traveling size. I am so obsessed with this product. Is it the best ever? No. But when it comes to traveling and multi-purpose products, it is one of my all-time favorites. It's not only a cleansing water, it's also a toner and an exfoliant. So I would just use this at the end of a very long day after, you know, going in with a cleanser, use this product, use a moisturizer, and I went to sleep. Like, literally, I just used this all-in-one product every single night. My skin looked great when I woke up the next morning. It was easy, it was convenient, it was multifunctional, and it was just very, very practical for traveling. So I'm absolutely obsessed with this product and I can't wait to buy the full size. And the other product, this is the last skincare product of the day, is my Claire's Toner. I am obsessed with this toner, you guys. I've had it for about two months now. I've been using it every single day. Initially, I was actually using it wrong. It took me like a week. Okay, this is embarrassing, but whatever. Um, we've all been there, right? I did not read the directions. Y'all just read the directions on things. Um, I was putting this on a cotton pad and just like rubbing it on my face like I do with most other toners. That's not what you're supposed to do at all. I was like, what's the hype all about? 
I'm using so much product because it's pretty thick. I was like, it's not doing anything. This is stupid. I read on the product then later that you're literally just supposed to put a few drops of this into your hands, rub it up and pat it into the skin. And as soon as I did that and actually followed the directions, this product has been absolute perfection for me. I am so obsessed with this product. I use it every single night. It really balances out the pH in my skin. It also provides a lot of moisture. Sometimes after all of the steps, you know, Know, toning, exfoliating, all of that, like masking. Sometimes I don't even need a moisturizer because this is so, so hydrating. I'm obsessed. They also just came out with a brand new one. It's the exact same formulation, but it is unscented. So if you have more sensitive skin, I would opt for that. This does not irritate my skin, which can be sensitive. It does not cause any breakouts whatsoever. Um, so, you know, this would be fine for sensitive skin too, but I'm just saying that like, I'm trying to get the unscented one myself. And I think you guys would like that one as well. Um, so yes, that is it for skincare. Let's move on to the hair. Y'all, you already know, my Batiste. My Batiste dry shampoo. This is the traveling one that I was using in Taiwan. And let me check. Yeah, this is the mega size. <laughs> I don't have the normal size. I have mega because normal is just dumb. I don't need a normal size. I need the huge one for day to day. And then I have this little one that I like to take with me traveling and, you know, out and about. My hair gets super oily in the top. Like, it gets really, really greasy. It's quite disgusting. Um, I'm one of those people where if I shower in the morning, by the afternoon or the evening, you will see, you know, grease, if you will, in my roots. So this is a necessity for me on a daily basis. I love it so much. I get no white cast with this. If you do think that it does provide a white cast for you and you can't just brush it out, if you don't have blonde hair, they have a brunette version. It's tinted. I would highly recommend that. It soaks up all of my oil. It is like, the it's the best dry, dry shampoo I've ever used in my entire life. I'm getting flustered just talking about it. Totally obsessed. You guys should definitely try it if you have not already. Okay guys, that's it for beauty. So we're gonna move into some lifestyle favorites and wrap this thing up. I told you it was a long one. If you're still here, Thank you for being here. You guys are the, you're, you're the best. I couldn't do this without you and your support and your kindness. So thank you so, so much. Um, but yeah, for my first lifestyle favorite, it's a little strange, but just bear with me. Here in Korea, they're obsessed with socks. Okay, if you've ever been to Korea, you can attest to this. Let me know in the comment section down below if you've been here and you understand. There's socks everywhere. Every corner, every mall, every like train station, there are socks and they're all adorable. So I just picked up these, <laughs> these little fox socks. I'm obsessed. They're like less than a dollar a pair and they're so stinking cute. So I picked up these recently, but like just in general, every single time I go out, I end up coming home with a pair of socks. Like when I leave Korea, I'm going to have the best sock game <laughs> ever. So yeah, if you guys are still here, put like a little sock emoji <laughs> or like not a sock emoji, put like a fox emoji down below. Um, but yes, these have just been like, I just love it so much. And then something else I've been obsessed with. I have a few of these. They're swell bottles. I love swell bottles in general. I know there's a bunch of knockoffs for these too, but I just love them, especially for traveling. They keep cold things cold. They think they keep hot things hot. Um, the insulation is perfect. They don't leak. I love them. If you haven't invested in a you know swell bottle or a bottle that's like this, I highly, highly encourage it. Um, I really want to get one of the mini sizes um, because as you guys know, I hate water. I don't like it, but these really, I mean, when you have a cute water bottle, it kind of incentivizes you to drink more. So um, I've been obsessed with my Swell bottle as well. Um, the next product and the last lifestyle favorite of mine for the month has been this gorgeous Barefoot Dreams cardigan. I think I've talked about these in every single favorites I've ever done with good reason, you guys. It is like... It's like a hug. I've said it before. It's like you're getting a perpetual hug, a bear hug, all the time. They're just so comforting. They're so cozy. Um, this is my heavier one, but I also have the light one. And the light one has actually been, you know, I've glued to my body for the past like day or two because it's starting to get warmer outside and I don't need all of this heavy material. But if you haven't tried Barefoot Dreams, I will link them in the description box down below. Check them out. Just put one on. You'll understand what I'm talking about. Two things I've also been absolutely obsessed with this month, you know, because of Taiwan essentially, uh, bubble tea. I used to hate bubble tea because I thought that the bubbles themselves, like the consistency of them, um, just did not 
go well with me um but taiwan changed that i think i had like six bubble teas in four days i'm like low-key obsessed um and then the other thing i've been loving or i did love while i was in taiwan were the beef noodles heavenly out of this world so good like melt in your mouth beef noodles were just like handmade it was like a symphony that you were just eating in your mouth at all times. So if you've been to Taiwan, you know, let me know what your favorite food was from there. If you haven't been, y'all, it's so underrated. It's such an awesome country. The Taiwanese people were so incredible. I loved it. I loved every single second of it. Um, so yeah, enough about that. But there are actually two products I wanted to talk about that I did not like. So my unfavorites of the month that I wanted to let you guys know about before I head on out. The first is sadly this Dear Darling Tint by Etude House. I hauled this in my K-Beauty haul, Where to Find Beauty in Seoul. I wanted to love this so much, you guys. It was like $3. Everyone says it's great. For me, it was not. It patched off in very strange places. It wore strangely. It only wore for like an hour. Um, I mentioned earlier that I have drier lips and it stuck to every dry patch. It looks like it looked like I had a disease on my lips after like 10 minutes because when it would dry down, it would dry down like in different pigmentation, um, if that makes any sense. So it literally looked like I had diseased lips. This thing is going in the trash I I do not like this whatsoever and then the other one that I sadly didn't love contrary to popular opinion everybody loves this it's the Misha magic cushion foundation I did a full review of this I did a full first impressions of this I wanted to love it so much I won't spend much time on this but I will link those videos in the cards above if you're interested it just didn't work out for me under any stretch of the imagination, this just was not a good foundation. So that's it, you guys. Those are my favorites. You've made it to the end. Um, if you like this kind of video, if you like me, please give this a big thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, guys. I make videos twice per week. I would love to have you around for the journey, have you and my little family here. And um, yeah, until next time, guys, I will see you later. I hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.